1988. Rosalind, 43 years old only, died of a pulmonary embolism. He is uh, much admired in the game. Ludovic Kerr is the man in the middle, aided a better by Messrs. Uh, Richard blows his whistle. Tristan Tedder gets us underway. Papignon in the light blue jerseys. Brassing in their dark blue. Oh, Levi puts the ball in. Richards to the back of the scrum to collect. Finds Saez. Saez wants to go for it. He's uh, brought down. This is Levi again. Feeds inside to Lore. Levi prompting once again. Here's Francis Sally. Chivancy. And so far, Perpignan equal to this attack. But at uh, one sense, his Rassi might have a few tricks at their sleeve. The chip towards the uh, left wing. It's collected. And him off. Uh, Frederick Michelac and uh, Stuart Lancaster, the uh, coaching pair for Racing. And it's at Racing. And Perpignan get back. Possession, try to clear. That's, it's driven down. Oviedo picks and goes. The Argentinian pushing through. Making uh, use of that 113 kilograms. Perpignan coming back towards the centre of the field. This is Rolefsa. Ekoshar. And Perpignan trying to find a way through, but the Racing defence is resolute. McIntyre sweeps the ball out to the right-hand side. It's Fuente, the captain. Ekoshar looking to his left. He has options. Brazzo. And now it's an anxious moment for Racing. This is Perpignan finding a gap in the centre of the field. And here we go, sweeping out to the right-hand side. And it's a neat sidestep on Perpignan in for the first try. That's Louis de Picio against his... <laughs> McIntyre adds the two extra points. Tedder relaunching the match then. And uh, Perpignan taking... Now it's uh, Lamb with the throw. It's collected by Van Tonda. Perpignan keeping possession. He's looking now to kick. Ekushar clears his lines. And uh, Racing perhaps uh, thinking of playing quickly, him off deciding better. Kervandouz are not top of the cattle, the top cattles for nothing. They are, of course, uh, an accomplished side. Faints the pass. And the back pass that almost finds that Lebay steaming through. The, the, the play breaks. Tom Ekushar has the ball. And that uh, the scrum collapse. Oviedo peels away for Perpignan. Good from the left side to his uh, scrum half for uh, Ekushar. A little bit of uh, running repair jobs going on here. Thomas Leclerc. A great selection to choose from. This is Ekushar to McIntyre. McIntyre feeds it to his right. That's uh, De La Fuente. Perpignan trying to find that way through. Interesting work. And away comes Louis de Pichot for Perpignan. Has he got the legs? Has he got support? Yes, he has. This is Ekoshar. He's pushing. Can he get there? And he's over the line. That's another try for Perpignan. Jake McIntyre again adding two points. Tedder's restart deep into the field. It's caught on the uh, 22. Jarrett throws. It's uh, collected by Laurie. Goes into the driving mall, which... Uh, Tarrett joins. It's a fallen apart. Lubai has it. This is Francis Sally for Racing. He's finding a gap. He's going for it. Ekushar couldn't. And this is Francis Sally. Finds Melion. Melion with a kick. One to chase. And Louis de Picio, the former Racing player. What a game he's having. Six. No, it's gone that shorter. Driving more now, setting up. Tarrett. And the pressure is on. That's Tarrett on the back. And it's a try for Racing. Yannick Tarrett it is, who's grounded the ball. Yannick Tarrett, very much mad at the moment. Being... He's now kicking against his old club. And Tedder skews the ball. League leaders, Racine 92 are the visitors. And they have uh, Joker, Jake McIntyre, the Australian fly half of Perpignan, restarts the game. The ball fumbled by Boris Pat. A 
It's that Rolevsi with the loose ball was collected oh, by Dubois. Dubois puts it forward. And this is another one for Perpignan. This is the score right now. And Jake McIntyre tasked with trying to McIntyre launches that ball. And uh, sadly for him, it's uh, Edge Dubois. And once again, it's worth noting that Louis Dupichot, the Perpignan fullback, was there in support. Having an inspired game against his former team. Perpignan leading by 19 points to five. And we're set up for a great second half here at the Stad. We are underway for the second half. Perpignan leading by 19 points to five. Boris Palou collects the ball for Racing. And Baudon replaced by Diallo. So all change there at the Racing side. As we say, spring is on for Le Bay. Perpignan forwards. It's a Colangar Racing Cat Grandus, the top Cardos leaders, Max Spring, substitute scrum half. Looks inside. This is Francis Sally. Sweeps the ball out to his left. Tristan Tedda collects. He's held by Jake McIntyre. Defending from Perpignan. But Racing still pressing forward. Desperate stuff here from Perpignan. Can Racing push forward and get it held up? Let's come out of uh, once again. Racing here with a possibility. This is tense stuff. What has Monsieur Kassin? Spring puts in the ball. He's watched by Tom Ekoshar. Ekoshar on the case there for Perpignan. Max Spring has possession. Spring puts it away. This is Francis Sally for Racing. Placed. Laurie goes through. He rolls over. The referee is unhappy. He says he's rolled. As the scrum now goes into play, it's collapsed once again. Max Spring rather premature with his breakaway. Clear his lines as far as possible. Oomph from the Australian. Here there was an infringement. Camille now coming away for Racing 92. Max Spring inside to Meliand. Meliand feeds Sally. Sally is stopped in 92. And they have an advantage. Referee blows for offside. Perpignan staggered. Shaft throws. Collected by Diallo. Straight into a driving wall for Racing. Could this be the try scoring opportunity that they desperately want to see. Ekoshar puts in the scrum, it wheels again and collapses. Play on says the referee. Papillon in possession. And Racing wrenched that ball free. This is Leclerc. From half, Max Spring. And it's a pick and go. Racing, here we go. In the meantime, Perpignan execute the line out well, pushing forward. Finds Sabella. Sabella being blocked by Camisha. And the referee bringing play back. Camisha, what matters is that he was blocking Perpignan, getting that uh, ball moving again. This is McIntyre with the long kick. And uh, sadly for him and his team, it's an uh, edge towards the right hand side. And uh, missing the target, Tristan Tedder collects and clears. Ignacio Ruiz with the throw for Papignon. It is long, it is wasted. Camille has collected for Racing. Jake McIntyre has him by the foot. But... And Clemensac uh, put on his backside. This is Leclerc on the ball at the bottom of that rock. And the ball has been stolen back by Perpignan. Score remains, Perpignan 19, Racing 5. Tedder looks inside to Chavance in this position. Changing the point of attack for Racing. Taking them right now. Oh, and the ball didn't go out of play. So that's uh, what didn't go to... For Pepignon being replaced. I will give you the name of the replacement as soon as we get it. Rodor. Matteo Rodor replacing Ekoshar. The ball. But here come Pepignon. And Pepignon on a chase. This is important. Sha needs to get there, but can he? It's collected by Dupicho. Rodo looks inside. And uh, even though Perpignan over the past uh, 20 minutes. And once again, Racing stealing it. Scrutinizes very closely the binding and the performance of the front row. 
The collapse appeared to be on this side, the blind side. The Catalan fans want a clean line out. And that was anything but. The line. Can they push it forward? Ignacio Ruiz, it is, who's got the ball. And the referee, Mishika, is uh, taking advice. Ruiz thinks he scored. Match. With Pepe and running out as winners. There you see, by 26 points to five.